spray I got you. God, Sarnet. This nasal spray goes up my nose, but just not far enough. Well, I guess I don't get to sleep until somebody invents a nasal spray that goes way, way, way up your nose. Well, now they have. How the hell did you get in here? I jimmied the window because a product this important is important to hear about. What the heck is it? The Turbohaler. Using jet propulsion technology invented by the Swiss military, the Turbohaler delivers a blast of sinus-relieving menthol way, 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 way up your nose. Wow, that's one more way than we hoped for. Simply insert the pressurized ignition cartridge into the Turbohaler. Release the safety mechanism, squeeze the trigger, and kiss your nasal problems goodbye. Here you go, sir. She's ready to rip. Well, okay. Here goes. Honey? He'll regain consciousness in two to three hours or more, but he'll be breathing free and easy for a good chunk of that time. Well, looks like now I'll finally get some sleep. Or maybe not. <laughs> Turbohaler from Spishak. Hello, hello. Yes, I'm working on it right now. I I'll have it to you. Thank you. Bye. Hey, Chris. Oh, hey. Looks like you're having a bad hair day. Oh, tell me about it. My long feminine hair is always getting in the way. I can't get any work done. You know, that never happens to me. <laughs> my haircut up this great place could probably help you. It's called Just for Lesbians. <laughs> Think about it. Few realize the vast contributions that lesbians have made to our society, who, along with the Irish, almost single-handedly built the canals, dams, and laundromats that dot this great land of ours. But perhaps no contribution is greater than their sensible haircuts. <laughs> Now there's a new salon in town that brings that feeling of style and sensibility to everyone. Just for lesbians. It features eight exciting hairstyles. There's the lady golfer. The UPS driver. The dog groomer. The Merv Griffin. The former first lady. Rosie in. Rosie out. And the Anne Hayes. Thanks. Looks like someone's a busy beaver. Oh. Oh. Tons of work done without any interference from my old hair. Yeah. And it makes it look really hot. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So, uh... After work, you want to join me and my girlfriends for some drinks down at Sappho's? They just won the softball championship. Back off, Butch Cassidy. I'm not a donut bumper. Oh, man, skin is skin. Just for lesbians. Sensible haircuts at a sensible price. Take West Maple Avenue until you don't see any men. The sun is just arising. Smell that coffee brewing. Crackling bacon wakes you to another make happy day. Appetites are growing, you're in that breakfast mood. So get yourself a moving to the place where you'll find food. It's time to wake up America to another make happy day. Digging up your breakfast and keeping death away. Your troubles are forgotten. Who cares if the food is rotten? You're having another Super McDumpster day. You're having another Super McDumpster day. More and more Americans are waking up to McDumpsters.
Hey, folks, John Madden here for the quick pop popcorn popper. Hey, John, how's it work? It's simple, Fred. You just plug it in, open up the butter packet. <laughs> I screwed up, guys. I mean, I'm sorry, but the packet won't open. We got a better packet? Hey, folks, John Madden here for the quick pop popcorn popper. Hey, John, how's it work? It's simple, Fred. You just plug it in. You open up the butter packet. <laughs> you know, when I do the tough acting to acting commercial, all I do is I say, boom, tough acting to acting, and the guy shows his feet, and they keep his smile. I mean, they don't have to open up the butter packets. They can't fucking butter packets. Is this thing going to shut or what? This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> Hey, John, how's it work? It's simple, Fred. You just plug it in. <laughs> I can smell my arm flesh cooking. It's like I've been napalmed. Put some butter on it. Right there, butter. I can't put some butter on it. I can't get this butter back and open. Here's my... Finish this godforsaken commercial. If I find out who's responsible for booking me on this, I'm going to kick him in the ass. <laughs> Folks, John Manfred, <laughs> popcorn popper. It's simple, Fred. I didn't say it yet. Go f yourself. <laughs> hey, John, how's it work? It's simple, Fred. You just plug it in. Go ahead, do it. <laughs> Open up the butter packet. <laughs> And in 10 seconds, you got hot, buttery popcorn for the whole game. Hey, let's eat, huh? Hey! It smells so good. It's melting! What's so funny, guys? Huh? You want a face full of hot, buttery popcorn? Huh? Is that what you want? Well, you start out with the popcorn popper right there, and then there's a butter packet over here. And open that up, maybe use a blowtorch or something like that. Then uh, you, you, it starts to melt, <clears throat> it starts to pop, you hear that, and then you know it's done. You put it in a bowl and you can give it to one of your friends over here, one of these a-holes that's sitting in the corner with a bunch of jackasses. And then what happens is you, you can eat it or throw it in the couch. <laughs> Sometimes I get it in the couch and then it sits there, but it doesn't stink or doesn't rot because, hey, it's just popcorn. <sighs> The Quick Pop Popcorn Popper. John Madden couldn't figure it out, but you certainly can. Enjoy! Fall means back to school and back to J.C. Petty for the latest fashions. Enjoy incredible savings on selected items for young teens. Save 20% on girls' flak jackets in killer fashion colors. Make a run for them while they last with high caliber savings. Sticks and stones may break his bones, but even hollow-tipped bullets can't dent these no-iron steel-shanked casual slacks. Just $39.99. It's raining bullets, but what do you care? In Mrs. Petite ATF-approved bulletproof ponchos, you'll flip over the matching cast-iron battle-ready Panzer helmet. 50% off. Be prepared for anything in these oversized novelty tees made from 100% sterile cotton. These shirts don't stand a chance of lasting at only $12.99 each. Live to look good another day in these Toiron Tactical Camouflage Jumpsuits. Available in school brick red, metallic rocker gray, and chalkboard green. 30% off. JC Penny, Skeleton Style. Hey there, good afternoon. Yeah, how you doing, officer? Excuse me for asking, but why'd you pull me over? You were speeding. No, I wasn't. I was at a stoplight. I, uh... uh <laughs> the taillight was out. That's impossible. This is a brand new car. Uh, you fit the description. Now get out of the car. Wait, description? Get out of the car. Gonna be here for a while? Have a Snickers bro. Good job, Cindy. You know, having kids isn't easy. And people don't tell you an awful lot about being a parent. That's why if I could choose to do it all over again, I would have chosen the RU486 pill. <laughs> 
It's not that I'm unhappy. I could just be more happy. Oh, yeah, Susie's great and all, but if this pill had been around ten years ago, I could have had a really exciting life. Of course, having a child gives you a sense of purpose. Just a very time-consuming one. Oh, don't get me wrong, having kids is a blessing. But sometimes I just want to drive that blessing out to the middle of nowhere, leave the blessing there, drive home, and tell the police a black man kidnapped it. Just because things could have been so different. You know, I met Huey Lewis once. So if you don't want to end up like me, a parent, then please take my word for it and talk to your doctor about RU486. I'm going to turn around and help Susie with her social studies now. But to be honest, I just don't care. Ask your doctor about RU486. Having children is precious, but so is a one-night stand with Huey Lewis. Where contact lenses are killing me. They burn. Damn it, honey, I told you I need to sleep. Oh, stupid son of a bitch. Oh. Well, now there is. Well, now there is what? You came back. I shimmy through the dryer vent because a product this important is important to see. Well, I wish I could see it. Not with these damn contacts. Well, now you can say goodbye to contact lenses and their expensive, painful agenda with Turbo Peep, the handheld laser vision correction system from Spishak. I like the way you talk. Well, you'll love the way this works. Simply insert the laser ignition cartridge into the base of the unit, squeeze the trigger, and Turbo Peep will fire an eye-altering laser within one-eighth of an inch of your iris, probably correcting most of your vision problems. Does it really work? Probably. Wow, honey, what do you think? Should I try it? I don't care, Paul. Now tell us more about how it works. Let Paul show you how it probably works. Is he dead, darling? Even if he is, his vision is probably perfect. <laughs> God, that hurt. Is this what, uh... Clear vision looks like? Congratulations, Paul. And that slight red discoloration will probably wash out using any vinegar-based window cleaner. Hot. 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 Turbo Peak from Spishak. Hey, new. Now that your plan to distribute a laptop computer to the poorest Americans has been implemented, what have you got on your power book? Well, I've got the GOP's contract with America. I've got the latest chapter of my new sex thriller. I've got the Constitution revised. I've got my divorce settlement. And I've got my brand new contract with the PowerBook company giving me controlling shares of PowerBook stock. Hey, homeless lady, what have you got on your PowerBook? Snot, drool, and my ass because it's war. PowerBook, the ultimate in interactive computers. Sure beats a newspaper. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Scott Seitz. I'm here for the NYPD Blue Audition. Okay, there's a script. Please have a seat with the others. Thanks. Bitch better have my money. Bitch better have my money. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you better have my money. 
<laughs> Bitch, you better have my money, ho. Bitch, you better have my money. Bitch, you better have my money, right? Yeah. Gonna be here for a Bitch, while? You better, you better have a money. Snickers bar. <laughs> It's a brand new day, everything's gonna go your way Cause you can smell that bulger start to perk A couple of cups make you feel alive Just in time for your morning drive And you sit your bulgers on your way to work Got a lot of stuff to do, but you gotta make it fun. So you have another coffee and draw your sleeves up Now you're facing a time crunch You're gonna have to work through lunch So you have your assistant bring another cup Feeling pretty good Your family was in the neighborhood So they dropped by just to say hello just got a new deadline And you're feeling fine Cause you have no job So you go to go Suddenly the work is through So you have another cup or two And get on the road to start your way back home Now you toss and turn You still feel that coffee burn So you get sleeping pills. Do not use with caffeine! Hi, I'm Kenny Rogers. And boy, do I love barbecue. I love it so much, I open up my own barbecue pit. Kenny's Country Broasters. I make sure all the food at Kenny's Country Broasters is slow broasted, just like Mama used to do. Eating here is like eating in my house, except for the endless salad bar. I wasn't going to There was anything here. Great, Kenny. All right. Mmm, chicken, ribs, steak, whatever you like, done right with my special Kenny Rogers barbecue sauce and mesquite grilled to perfection every time. Oh. Mmm. How is it, Kenny Rogers? Mmm, perfect. <laughs> All right. And if you're a first-time customer, you can get a baby back rib dinner with complimentary country potatoes and a 10-gallon hat of Kenny's famous barbecue sauce. All this with low prices and smiling service. So if you're like me, you like barbecue. And if you like barbecue, you'll love Kenny's Country Brosters. You never lick your fingers when you're sitting at the table. There'll be time enough for licking when the eating's done. <laughs> Sweat. Kenny's Country Brosters. Chart top and authentic barbecue served up right.
<laughs> oh, oh, for Pete's sake, now what? I don't know. What, what are you doing? I'm doing what I've been doing for the last hour. Well, it's not working. Yeah, right, no kidding. Well, look, you don't have to yell. Look, I'm not yelling. Sounds like yelling to me. <laughs> Vice President <laughs> Al Gore? Well, I'll tell you what. I wish I had a nickel for every time a couple like this had trouble in the bedroom. Oh, you and me both. Looks like these two are stuck. How about I give you a few pointers? First of all, I cannot stress enough the importance of foreplay. Just a little nibble on the earlobe here. Oh. Now, not too hard. You don't want to pull a Mike Tyson. <laughs> That's a good one, is it? It's all good, friend. And a little hot breath on the neck down here. Now, most men will go right for the breasts. That's these two fellas right here. But don't forget that the inner thigh and the navel are also erogenous zones. And ladies, don't forget that the male nipple is also a highly erotic area. That feels pretty darn good, doesn't it? Hey, whoa, whoa. Fair enough, I'll move on. Now, of course, the largest erogenous zone of all Ooh, is... Oh, I know this one. Shh, let the vice president finish. Thank you. <laughs> the largest erogenous zone of all is the brain. Remember, when it comes to good sex, conversation and communication are as important as penetration. Man, that's what I've been trying to tell her. Now just watch as I whisper tenderly in her ear. Open up the back door, baby. Daddy's coming home. Oh, the key's already in the lock. <laughs> well, I think my work here is done, so I'll leave you two lovebirds be. Thank, Thank you, you, Vice President, President Al Gore. Doodles. <laughs> Get your hand off my nipple. Sorry. Paid for by the Al Gore for President 2000. If you've seen the commercials for the amazing boogie bass, to bad someone caught me, then you've already bought the fish. But life is not always amusing. That's why we've created six useful bass products. Products that put the dignity of the mighty bass into your personal affairs. Let our profound bass sit shiver with you and mourn with self-respect. Baruch Atah Adonai, Judith. He's gone to a better place. God gives and God takes. Let our couple's bass remind you about what really matters. Have you tried listening to each other? She's just working. No, no, no. Shh, shh. Say it to her. <laughs> Upsetting test results are a thing of the past with Doctor's Little Helper Bass. I'm afraid my bass has some bad news. You have cancer. How long have I got? You have cancer. <laughs> Face life with dignity with the bass. Only nineteen ninety five. Christmas bass also available. No matter how hard I try, I can't get these towels to smell fresh. Smuggle <laughs> <laughs> fabric softener has two new scents: sun kissed breeze and botanic. <laughs> What do you see? What are you? Get away from me! I'm Snuggle, the fabric. I'm Snuggle. I'm trying to help. Oh my God! How did you get in here? Get out! Calm down. Are you out of your mind?
sweethearts. You're finished. End of cycle. <laughs> See you in hell, Snuggle. <laughs> Snuggle Fabrics offer. You can't kill Snuggle, but Snuggle can sure kill Static Cling. I my truck up the road and I ran out of gas, so I was kind of wondering. Gonna be here for a while? Have a Snickers bar. Brad, my best friend. We've known each other since we were seven. When it comes to friends as good as Brad, I think of high again. Brad taught me how to drive a stick on my old man's car. So, Townsend, is there, is there any way you could rest us without telling our folks? There's nothing we didn't do for each other. <laughs> Through good times and great times. <laughs> I was Brad's best man. Again and again. And he was my main man. Brad was there through it all. And so was High again. Nothing came between us. <laughs> Brad is always gonna be Brad. Check it out. Oh, dude. Oh, here we go. <laughs> when it comes to friends as good as Brad, I always think of High again. Brad! Brad! Some things never change. And the best part of it all, even when you say goodbye, you can always say hi again. Hi again. Because you don't have to be number one to drink the number one beer. Hi, folks. I'm Big Don. Me and my wife, Thelma, has opened up the largest discount shirt warehouse in the state. We got all kinds of shirts. Tell them, Thelma. We got button-down, short sleeves, long sleeves, dress shirts, t-shirts, you name it. You can't never have too many shirts. You want to know why? Tell them, Thelma. That sure it happens. <laughs> But the best thing about Big John Discount Shirt Barn is that it's so easy to get to. Tell them, Thelma. Go straight down the beltway, get off at Four Corners, make a ride at the Ragged Cross Church, then two more stop signs, stay to the right, to the underpass at the big stop light, a quick left at the donut hole, and another left at the salad bowl, and past the pine tree with Run Ranch, and bear to the left of the ostrich ranch, right by the stump of the old oak tree, and over the tracks past the grocery, and just go straight and you'll be fine until you you see the big white sign of Big John's shirt barn. You might want to tell them again, Thelma, but this time hurry up because these commercials be costing me money. Go straight down the beltway, get off at four corners, make a ride at the road cross church, and two more stop signs, stay to the right, to the under, past the big stop light, to the quick left at the donut hole, another left at the salad bowl, past the pine tree with one branch, and better to the left of the ostrich dress, right by the stump of the old oak tree, and over the tracks past the grocery. Just go straight and you'll be fine until you see the big white sign of Big John's shirt barn. See you all there. Bye. I try to go about my day, but I'm just, just so nervous all the time. You should. I always think that the worst is going to happen. It will. I just wish there was some way to get away from all these worries. You can't. I see people enjoying themselves, and I wish I was one of them. You're not. Everything just seems so depressing. It is! I feel so alone. You are! I just can't seem to concentrate on my work. Who cares? I try to express myself, I just feel like I'm whining. You are! If there was something my doctor could prescribe to make me feel better. There isn't! This commercial is about... Nothing! Suck it! <laughs> I'd swear that checkout boy was checking you out more than our groceries. Mom. Dina, didn't you just buy maxi pads last night? Mom, you know it's my heavy time. I think it's time I let you in on a little womanly secret. 
the Spishak Once a Year Maxi Pad. The Spishak Once a Year Maxi Pad? Believe it or not, I'm wearing one now. Wow, it looks comfy. Oh, it is. Why, I've been wearing mine since last Christmas. Hmm, maybe I should try the Spishak Once a Year Maxi Pad. Invented by a team of female drywall contractors, the Spishak Once a Year Maxi Pad is a new concept in convenience and comfort. Ordinary Maxi Pads can only absorb about a teaspoonful of liquid. The Spishak Once a Year Maxi Pad can absorb as much liquid as the entire annual rainfall of the city of Seattle. Mom, you're the best. No, honey, Spishak is. <laughs> The Spishak wants you a Nazi pad. Irresponsibly observant. From the makers of Tickle Me Elmo and Tickle Me Elmo Extreme comes this holiday season's hottest must-have toy. It's Tickle Me Emo. Stop! Uh, that hurts me. What? Tickle Me Emo is the tortured, angst-ridden teen cousin of Elmo. And boy, is he sad. But don't take our word for it. Squeeze his hand and let Tickle Me Emo tell you himself with one of 13 pre-recorded Emo sayings. If life is so fair, why do roses have thorns? <laughs> there is no God. You hear me? No God. Why don't you giggle and shake and stuff? Oh, he will. Just pull a string. Nobody understands what I'm going through, especially you! Tickle Me Emo is just like a real emo kid. Super sensitive and oh so dramatic. Do you almost ever me? I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you too! Do you? You're not the only one with issues! Be careful not to leave Tickle Me Emo alone for too long. Tickle Me Emo, available at Hot Topics everywhere. Tupac Shakur, what have you got on your power book? I got a note to myself to stop calling these bitches hoes. Those sluts is killing me. Hey, that make a good song. Anyways, I got an email to Minister Muhammad. Got to get some religion before my parole here. I got movie ideas for penitentiary foe and a letter to the organ donor board. Them suckers best put me at the top of that list for a new nut. Oh, yeah. Gotta list all the hoes that Easy e slept with. Yo, brother gotta protect what he got left, you know what I'm saying? Snoop Doggy Dog, what have you got on your power book? I got some straight up gangster lyrics for all the OGs, pimps, hustlers, and hoes. Plus, I got my lawyer's phone number, my lawyer's pager number, my lawyer's cell phone number, my lawyer's home number and address, my lawyer number at his girlfriend house. A lawyer's number at the Trizac. Plus, I got a list of all the hoes Easy E slept with. Probably gotta protect this Jimmy and 9-5. Know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, and a note to myself. Get some tickets to see Chorus Line. Yeah. Power Book, the ultimate in interactive computers. And now here's me, Coco La Tech. You know, my hungry little babies, they say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Not if you were doing a whole lot of eating the night before. <laughs> but seriously, after a long night of letting it all hang out, I know the cereal that helps put it all back in. Ha! No way! Ha! Jose! I got my own, own cereal that'll blow your stomach away. I'm talking about Coco's Afro Push. That pretty girl on the cover. Ooh, and Coco's Afro Puffs is a groovy sauce of melanocytes and melanin. Mm. Just look at those puffs of delicious, nappy goodness. But don't take my word for it. Take this super fine nip folks' word for it. Afro puffs for the taste. Don't I? Yep.
She likes it. Hey, the super fine nympho really likes it. Well, there you have it. Nine out of ten super fine nymphos love the taste of Coco's Afro Puffs. And why shouldn't they? They're good. So, if you're looking for the flavor and you want a taste, chew on my little head. Coco's Afro Puffs. But keeping on is keeping on cereal in town. Puff on these. <laughs> 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 Howdy, folks. Big John here, my lovely wife, Emma. Hey. You know, a lot of folks complain they couldn't find Big John's shirt bar, so we moved Lock, Stock, and Barrel to a brand new, easy to find location. Not only that, we added 200,000 ties to go with them shirts. Tell them, Emma. You got bow ties, white ties, dress ties, style ties, stripe ties, you name it. You won't find a bigger tie selection anywhere. So come on in and tie one on. <laughs> Good one, Tim. <laughs> Cracks me up. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Tell the fine folks how simple it is to get to our new store. Take the 407 to the 602 and get off that pony at Junction. Then mayor to the right through the flashing red light till you see a sign for Route 10. Don't take that, keep it going on straight past the little old house of toothpicks. Then it's two quick lefts on the dead stone groove and then you're halfway there. Then drive right through past the old porn theater and Jimmy's jerky hut. You don't stop for a drink at the painted lady cause the waitress there's a slut. Won't happen again, sweetie. I Take a second dirt road past the rusty can and a left where they found that body. Then park your car because it's not too far and walk down to the dock. Then grab a boat and let yourself float for six more miles down river. And before the falls, you'll see a branch that you should grab a hold of. Then raise your chin and swim on into Big John shirt and tie barn. It don't get much simpler than that. But just in case you miss you, might want to try them again. But this time, remember, tell them time is money. 407 to the 602 and get off that pawn at Junction. Then bear to the right to the flash red light. You see, yes, I'm for Route 10. Don't take that. Keep it going on straight past Little Old House or Two Things. Then it's too quick, less than a dead stone grove. Then you're halfway there. Then drive right through past the Old Port Theater and Jenny's Jerky Hut. Don't stop for a drink of the painted lady because the waitress stares a slut. I swear. Then stick your rope as a rusty can and left way down that body. Then park your car if it's not too far and walk down to the dock. Then grab a boot and let's float for six more miles on river. Before the falls, you'll see a branch that you should grab a hold of. Then raise your chin and swim on into Big John's Art and Tavern. Sure. Bye. One was born on Friday the 13th. One was born on Elm Street. One was born in a laundry room. This fall, evil battles evil. Battles irritating. Hi, I'm Snuggle. Freddy versus Jason versus Snuggle. Linen. Freddy versus Jason versus Snuggle. Has this ever happened to you? Ah! No need to worry with new Spishwax Car Wax from Spishack. Spishwax is based on a highly scientific principle. Difficult to understand, but easy to apply. See how the water beads? That's Spishwax protecting your car against water damage. Unfortunately, Spishwax won't protect your car against paint, tar, feathers, guano, shampoo, conditioner, wood stain, mahogany wood stain, eggs, scrambled eggs. Easter eggs, Easter rocks, baseball bats, bowling balls, chum, potted plants, Jewish weddings, cat litter, neighborhood kids, chicken and dumplings, Christmas decorations, cinder blocks, Sledgehammers. Sandwiches. Did we mention baseball bats? Boat anchors. And wrecking balls. So when you think of car wax... Spishak, Spishwax from Spishak. The Cadillac's a hey! Spish... What'd you do to my car? What are you... Ah, hey! Ah! Hey! Ah! Hey! 
Spishax Fishwax. Remember, it's just wax. Mommy, Mommy, look what I found. Can I keep him? Oh, my God. No, honey, that's a dead animal. Throw that in the garbage right now. It's probably full of germs. Aw, oh, nuts. I never get to keep anything. How many times has this happened to you? One of your children brings home roadkill and you just wind up throwing it out. Well, not anymore. Not with the Roadkill Lunch Meat Mega Press. The what? The Roadkill Lunch Meat Mega Press. Just leaving roadkill on the road to be eaten by maggots is a good deal for the maggots. But why not let the Roadkill Lunch Meat Mega Press make it a good deal for you? Sounds great, but how's the darn thing work? Simply plug the Mega Press in and place the roadkill in the front compartment. Rotate the roadkill selector to match your roadkill. Bird, cat, chipmunk, dog, squirrel, possum, raccoon, small moose, groundhog, and undetermined. Simply rotate the press wheel and let the Roadkill Lunch Meats Mega Press do the rest. There's nothing like the aroma of Roadkill to get your gastric juices flowing. Open the front door and you have a tasty slab of lunch meat. Don't spend all that money on store-bought lunch meats when the Roadkill Lunch Meat Mega Press can make you a killing. <laughs> Say, tastes fine. And not a trace of bone or hair or teeth. <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe a little bone. I may not get to keep them, but at least I can eat them. And with the Roadkill Lunch Meat Mega Press, clean up is a breeze. Simply scrape the scrap meat, blood, bone, and hair into the trash, and you're ready for another tasty meal. Dinner. Yeah. yeah. The Roadkill Lunch Meat Mega Press. Get yours today, because who knew you could turn this into this? How many times has this happened to you? What the f***? Okay, but how many times has this happened to you? Mommy, I want to bake a cake in my... Easy Bake Oven. <laughs> Easy Bake Oven. And what? <laughs> I guess I have to change the damn ball. <laughs> ah! <Damn> it! <laughs> Isn't there a child's toy oven that doesn't utilize dangerous light bulbs as its method of confection? <laughs> well, now you can. Who the hell are you? And I've got a new toy so modern and fun that you'll say goodbye to that old-fashioned toy oven. Now, little Daisy, are you ready for your new toy oven of the future? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> are you ready for your new toy oven of the future? Sure, mister. That's <laughs> Who's cleaning that up? That's the spirit. It's Spishax. Hey, it's ovens for kids. No more light bulbs? No more light bulbs. No more light bulbs? No more light bulbs. No more light bulbs? No! <laughs> and just like Mommy's oven, because it runs on clean, burning gas. And it's a fact. Food for 
with natural gas doesn't have that strange electric taste. I want to try. I want to try. <laughs> hold on there, little Daisy. Yeah, hold on. First, we have to hook it up. Well, that sounds easy enough. As easy as one, two, three. One, unhook your kitchen oven from the gas line. <laughs> Refasten the gas line to your Hey, It's Ovens for Kids oven gas knob. I don't think it fits very well. You're insane. <laughs> and step three, just light the pilot light with Spishak's My First Matches included in the box. <laughs> Daisy, don't you want to learn how to light a pilot light? Okay. Let me help. Timothy McVeigh, what have you got on your power book? Number one, no more birthday presents for my rat fing sister. Number two, check with agent on book deal. Number three, call car insurance agent. How come my rates went through the roof all of a sudden? Number four, remember in prison, bitch is a compliment. Thanks, Tim. Unabomber, what have you got on your power book? Number one, shopping list. New hooded sweatshirt and glasses. Aviators are so 80s. Number two, buy more stamps. Number three, get that punk McVeigh's correct prison address. Number four, destroy this power book. It's technology. Power book. Everyone can use one. Even antisocial psychopaths.